I want to ask yourself some very important questions about this point. For instance, why is Hollywood continually bombarding our country and this world with trash movies which betray violence, rape, crime of every kind, bloodshed? Why does Hollywood continue to pump out motion pictures depicting murder and violence and bloodshed? Then turning around and saying that movies and tapes don't have any influence on young people's minds or on people's minds when the obvious is true. That all tapes and movies influence people's minds. Ask yourself why? What is the purpose for portraying so much violence and horror and gory bloodshed in motion pictures? There's a reason for it. You better think about it. Ask yourself also about the biological warfare going on in the world today. AIDS coming from out of nowhere into the homosexual community. What have homosexuals, what are homosexuals doing today that they didn't do 6,000 years ago? And why is it we all of a sudden in 1980s have AIDS? Is there any connection between AIDS and the Legionnaire's disease and biological experimentation going on with the CIA, the USIA, the NSA and all the other government agencies that you don't know anything about? Is it possible that there could be some sort of a biological experiments going on, some of them going awry, some of them purposely allowed to go awry to see how far they will go? Is there any kind of a rhyme or reason for the things that are happening today? Keep in mind, too, that what the government, what your government pays for, it gets. If you are paid to do something for the government, they will extract from you exactly what they have paid for. When we understand that, then we look at universities and schools government financed institutions of education and see the kind of students and the kind of education that's being turned out by these government financed schools logic will tell you that if what is being turned out in those schools was not in accord with what the state and the federal government wanted then it would change it the bottom line is that the government is getting what they have ordered they're getting what they have paid for. They do not want your children to be educated. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on. But we're all too busy trying to stay alive and live our lives. And after all, what can one person do about it? One person can do nothing. But a nation educated can do much. Why does Hollywood make motion pictures like Death Wish and Dirty Harry, always showing how regular citizens are misused and abused and tricked and deceived by their government and then one lone guy has to stand up for what's right because the whole system is corrupt. 